What's up dudes and dudes to the internet, my name is Seth and today we're going to be taking a look at Soul Harvest. Don't let the graphics fool you, this game is actually pretty complicated and pretty cool in its complication. Like it's kind of like a, a multiplayer battle versus type game, right? And ended up actually just launching, so links will be in the description for everything. I just want to show you the tutorial real quick. You press A to harvest souls uh, and then you can cast spells with those souls. You can also hold Y to command your units, so it's got a little bit of MOBA thrown into it hold b to aim your projectiles as well and that's pretty much all there really is to the tutorial and then otherwise we are this crazy demon dude um there there where, where where where's my crazy button to change my character what what is it there it is okay so you can change uh into four different characters including the one that we're using right now they're all, of course all going to end up having uh different abilities and different play styles to them uh, I like this Cthulhu dude. He's pretty cool, but also kind of weird at the same time. This guy's pretty neat as well. Uh, there, of course, is going to end up being story, faction, uh, level editor itself, and then there's versus. So the way that we are going to be playing today is we're going to have to place a, a fight against an AI opponent. So we're going to turn that guy into an AI, and then we ourselves are going to end up controlling... Yeah, let's just go for this guy right here. We could end up adding more additional bots as well, but whatever, that's okay. It's a really interesting choice of how you actually- Whoops! I didn't want to do that! How you actually select the levels as you walk on a conveyor belt, and then we would have hit those crystals to choose the different game types and stuff. But, I guess we'll just go right into it. Kill the opposing arch demons. Where am I? Oh, I'm down at the bottom. Okay. So we gather as many souls as we can. We've got five total. Uh, well, five is all that we can end up grabbing. Uh, and then in in each of the different spell listing, there's going to be different things that you can do. So this is going to end up summoning, uh, as far as I know, I think it's going to end up summoning a unit, right? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. So that's what we're doing. I don't know if we can end up necessarily, like, how many of these guys are we going to be able to afford? Because that's the whole thing, is this uh, game is very much about, like, map control, you know? Like, right now we actually have, like, so many of these things. Uh, so much of the map is under our control rather than the bad guy. Unfortunately, our minions, are they burrowing or are they, like, dead? Okay, they're burrowing. Well, anyways, let's control them to go up and over there. Uh, he's actually sending out his minions so that he can end up actually fighting them. Uh, then there's also going to be spells that we can end up using, like this one that actually makes us go invisible. Uh, but whatever, that's okay. Die, Chubzilla, die! Oh no, they're hurting me! Go, my babies, go! Destroy the enemy! We got this! This is gonna be the fastest round you've ever seen! I will summon more! Yes! I will summon more! No, my babies! Destroy all the enemies! Destroy them all! They're actually pretty smart units as well. They will prioritize targets. Um, I'm not sure why we can't seem to summon... Like, these things that kind of operate as towers. Oh no, he snuck behind the ranks! <gasps> what a jerk! He snuck behind the ranks! Okay, okay. Go, my babies! Go! Okay, well, we can't seem to get them through the center here. Uh, but you can actually tell them where you want them to end up going and uh, well, hopefully let's see if we can end up actually getting this guy stuck over here. And let me just do that. There we go. Get them all nice and safe. Uh, the whole point of the game too is you're trying to stay alive as much as possible here. Uh, but you can see, oh, we're maxed out on units. Okay. Why can we not like use any spells or anything? Oh, because we don't have any souls. I see, so that's what's going on, huh? Where are my babies? Why are my babies coming out to save me? Save your daddy, fight the bad guys. Okay, okay, why are they taking the long route? That I don't understand, uh, but that's okay. Let's summon even more units, because for some reason he's just kind of hanging out back there. Lava just randomly spawned up and caused us a whole lot of trouble. I don't really understand why that happened, but whatever. Uh, let's, oh, maybe that's why he was, like, waiting for it. Aha, so that's what he's kind of doing, isn't it? Okay, I will take care of the units. I'll take care of them all myself. That's okay, that's okay. Let's get this guy surrounded. Even though I should actually be using different abilities, which I'm not, like, I'm not using them very well. Like, at all. <laughs> I don't know this character. Like, yeah, nice excuse. I, don't, I, I really don't know this character, like the other character that I was using uh, the first time I tried this game out 
uh, was, well, he was a bit crazier. Okay, let's cloak in and go, my babies. Hey, yeah, I got you, stupid. Okay, let's take care of him. Let's try and breed him. Break him down. Break him down, babies. Break him down, my childrens. Okay, we can see where he's facing as well, which is kind of nice. I think he was trying to retreat back to his ranks, but we got rid of him. Level select, main menu. Let's go to the level select. Okay, so it's gonna show... Are those the different spells that we could have had? Well, rip me. I had like a million zone units and that's how I won. Uh, so right now we're actually selected to Lava Land. Uh, which is, as you saw, the lava end up coming out. Because otherwise we can swap it to Ash Land, which... I I'm assuming it's going to be the same function, I don't know, but then there's, uh, you know, Citadel mode, elimination, we're just gonna stick to the elimination, because whatever, uh, but also, let's swap back over, let's swap over to, I mean, this weird Cthulhu creature, and let's have another round right here, see if I can hopefully end up doing a little bit better, I mean, we still won, but, uh, I don't really understand, oh... That's interesting. So the the ash actually has like there's something inside it, dude. That's pretty cool. That's kind of real cool. No, my minions. No. Okay, the sandworm was like stuck attacking, which is kind of interesting. How how do we? Ah, I want to. Ugh, I how 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 do I do things? <laughs> I wanted to attack this guy, but. Whee! There we go. Well, at least we caused a little bit of damage. Uh, there we go. Now we can actually summon this weird tentacle monster creature thing. My Cthulhu baby. Because we're going to use it to our strategic advantage to fight and hold the enemy at bay. Right? We can't actually... We can't summon it right there. Okay. Well, anyways. Go, my children's Attack! Get him! Destroy his face! You know what? You go right ahead. You think that you're gonna summon your dumb tentacle thing? I don't think so. I'm gonna push that right back into the ground. This area is mine, not yours. Like, seriously. See, that's what I mean, though. Like, this game could actually end up being quite exciting uh, if you were playing it with some friends. You know? Like, really a, a, an interesting game. You know? Which is pretty difficult to pull off in this day and age, is to have actually uh, something that's, like, very original like this. I want to summon the thing that defends the area. How much does it cost? It costs three souls, which we do have. We just can't seem to actually, like, summon it right now because of what's going on. Go, my children! Protect me! Okay. Okay. Let's just summon another one of those. Um, and then I also saw some other special crazy ability. Can we actually destroy that worm creature? That would be interesting. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to necessarily risk it. Okay, we can summon... Unlocks new spells? What, what was the error one? Unlocks new minions. Aha! More minions is what I'm most definitely interested in. That's pretty cool, dude. I didn't know they were gonna have actually, like, units like that, uh, where you actually needed them in order to have more creatures. So, now we can actually summon one of these other weirdos. Hey! Hey, you get out of here. This is my spot, not yours. I'm going to summon another one of these weird plant monsters, and I'm going to attack you! Go, my Cthulhu babies! You're not really doing what you, what daddy wants. Like, really, you guys are being really, really weird. Okay, go! Go get them! And not- No! You stupid worm! Can we defeat it? I wonder what happens if you actually do defeat it. Or did we just defeat it right now? And that's the whole point, is we ended up actually just getting, um... I think it is. I think we actually just got our hands on, like, another, um... Uh, like, some more souls, right? It gave us, like, three of them or something? Oh, boy. Um, well, this is not going to end well. I... Yes, we'll just, yeah, well, anyways, let me see if I can collect as many of these souls as possible here. Our minions actually did just fine, so I'm kind of surprised about that. I want this thing, which apparently costs two. Why can we not cast it down, then? With the thing that's going to end up giving us some new spells. Why can we not, why, why can we not cast this? 
There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, so the spells themselves we're going to end up unlocking once we get to the era side here. Um, there is a third unit right here, which is a ranged magic user, but I'm guessing we need another platform uh, in order to actually summon it? Right? I don't know. Well, anyways, let's see. What about this new spell? Freezes nearby enemies. Ooh! Is that thing perma? Like, is he always there? Ah! Uh, protect daddy! Protect me, babies! No! How dare you! No, really, like, what's with this guy? He's, like, really being aggressive this time. Okay. Okay, fine. I know how to play this game. Guess what I do? I just summon, like, every creature known to man. Yup! Get destroyed, you stupid- No! Go, my Cthulhu children, go! Protect the father! Yes! I'm just going to attack him. I'm gonna focus him down. Okay, he's actually being very strategic. And he's retreating to the proper spot. Because he's doing- No! Get him! Get him! He's not attacking me very well, thank goodness he's an idiot. <laughs> I like how we could have died by the worm creature right there at the end. Well, either way, folks, links are going to be in the description for this game. Very interesting for sure. Uh, hopefully something you enjoy and maybe enough to actually pick it up. Thanks for watching, though, folks. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. Sayamora. Sayamora? Wow. Sayonara and stay epic, everybody. That's the first time I've ever made that mistake.